concern should we be about the briefing that you received on UFOs? Is that a concern that for pilots? Is there anything you can mention to us about that? Well, I think some of the press reports are accurate. I think people are are taking this issue much more seriously. And, um, you know, I'm not going to get into any of the contents of the briefing. It was a classified briefing. Um, but what I I think the one of the key takeaways I'd have is that the um, the military and others are taking this issue seriously, which I think in previous generations may not have been the case. Uh, I, I say this with some trepidation. You know, I remember as a kid being interested in UFOs, and at that point, it was viewed as kind of a crankpot theory. And I think, though, for a long time, the military, um, you know, is people saw things, they didn't investigate them. One of the things that has changed, and I can, uh, I've received classified briefing on this, so I can only give you the top line, where they're actually now encouraging pilots to report. Uh, you know, if there are objects flying over military installations, that could pose a security threat. So we, um, working with Senator Rubio, we put into law a requirement that the Defense Department make a report uh, to this. And this report on one level needs to be declassified and uh, revealed to the American public. So if there's something out there, um, let's seek it out. It probably is a foreign power. Uh, but I think, you know, the past approach that the military had, which was the pilot saw something to kind of say, whatever you do, don't report, it's going to look bad on your record to now say no, if you're seeing things. And if we've now seen there's actual visual recorded evidence, um, we gotta we gotta sort this out.